Welcome back to the Nibblecast Evolve series. This series focuses on bringing you the pros and cons for all the hunters and monsters to hopefully make you a better and more informed Evolve player. Today we are looking at the Trapper class, Maggie. Maggie is the easiest trapper to use for the hardest role in the game. Her passive abilities make it easier for the person in control to guide the team without much thinking, leaving more time for damage and making sure the monster's movement is severely restricted. If you're feeling a little uncertain about how to track the monster, Maggie is the best place to start. The first of Maggie's weapons is her Machine Pistol. Although the Trapper class is not really meant to inflict a lot of damage, the Machine Pistol does an adequate job, especially at closer ranges. As the name suggests, a Machine Pistol is going to have a fairly large spread when firing constantly, so at larger ranges, it's best to burst fire. The pros of the Machine Pistol are that at close range, especially with targets, it can inflict a good amount of damage. Also. Since it's burst firing, it won't take a great deal of aiming when in a dome. As stated, the cons of this primary weapon are that outside the dome when tracking, the machine pistol serves little to no purpose, as it has no range whatsoever. As far as perks are concerned, I have a fairly polarised view. If you're feeling ambitious, take movement speed. Just keep in mind when you eventually do trap the monster, you're going to be alone, so I would suggest hiding until your team arrives. The second perk that's useful with Maggie is the jetpack recharge. This will allow you to get to the monster sooner, but will be less risky being alone since you will be able to dodge at least a few times before the team arrives should the monster find you. The second item in Maggie's arsenal are the harpoon traps. These are excellent to use throughout the game and greatly inhibit the monster's movement should they attach. This for me is one of the strongest traps in the game. Since they are passive, it allows you to inflict damage after they've been set up. Since there are three traps at your disposal, if you place them around the map and when the time comes at the dome, it can restrict traversals, jumping, climbing and keep your teammates out of harm's way. As far as equipment goes, this really is a huge benefit to any team. It's difficult to think of any cons for the traps. The only thing to keep in mind is that like Markov's Mind or Sunny Shield, they need time to activate. Lastly, we have Maggie's last ability, which is not a weapon or a trap. Daisy the Trapjaw is an alien dog which accompanies Daisy and the team wherever they go. The moment Daisy lands, she begins tracking the monster regardless of whether or not there are tracks to follow. Once she homes in on the monster, she will begin sniffing, showing you that the monster is very near. Another useful ability of Daisy is that she's able to revive incapacitated hunters. What I've often found when playing the monster is that Daisy is very easy to forget about, and I can often find a player who I've left for dead already back on their feet back in the hunt. The only shortfall with Daisy is that, like most AI, she's not perfect. Often you can find yourselves following a path that takes you further away from the monster, as she can sometimes become a little glitchy. The pros for Maggie are that she's got pretty excellent harpoon traps, it's the easiest way to find the monster, and the extra hunter does help revive others. The cons are, the machine pistol is a pretty useless weapon at range. Daisy can get fairly confused when tracking and that Maggie can be a little bit boring to play at times. Overall, Maggie is an excellent trapper with great equipment and abilities. Even though playing can get a little dull, I have to give Maggie a solid 8 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.